I'm gonna visit Mr. Mark Renaissance Cameron inside his art studio right here in Florida. Very interesting. I'm gonna have a good talk with him. All right, guys, let's give you a landscape, Officer Cameron's. Yes, you got 360. Where me at? That is, have a lot of painting inside of there. Let's go find Mark Renaissance. He's behind here, somewhere, behind these bushes. Look, guys. I see him have mangoes right there on that tree. Look. Uh, I'm gonna time them and come back when they're ripe. See my Aki. Nice. But anyway, let's go meet this man. Behind these bushes. Look, people, can't see anything, right? Check this out. All right. Ta da! A tree house. Mark Renaissance Cameron. I have my tree house. That's where the man doing painting. Oh, there, oh, there. Well, sir. Where you are going with? Well, I'm there, man. All right, guys, let's go inside this man's painting. We come check you out, my brother. And you go introduce it to my people. Yes. We got it, my brother. Hey, welcome, man. Yeah, man. What's up? So good, my brother. Yeah, here we go. Good. Here we go. Here we go. We're inside Mark's studio. Guess who we have here? <laughs> <laughs> hey, too much for TV for some of you guys. <laughs> anyway, Mark, where are you going, my brother? What are you doing? Well, I'm getting ready for a show on the 7th of June. 7th of June? Yeah. Um, it's going to feature myself and, um, and uh, David Muir. David Muir. Who's a photographer. Uh huh. So it should be an exciting show. Uh -huh. It's going to be at the. Um, Scott Galvin Center mm -hmm. at 1600 Northeast uh, 126 Street. That's in North Miami. You guys, hear that? That's on the 7th of June, and it's gonna have all my piece, all my, all my artworks. You know, so looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. As you can see, I do different types of um, art: um, impressionism, realism. Uh, um, abstract and the big pieces as well as smaller pieces so um it, it you know my work can be appreciated by by people with big homes smaller homes or people who want a you know a particular size that they want yeah yeah so wow so how long have you been doing painting mark i've been painting since high school you know since high school yeah since high school um but more prolific when I came to America. Mm. And most of the things I painted were scenes that reminded me of Jamaica. Like this beautiful picture right here. Let me show you guys. This one right here. Yeah, this one is an imaginative composition. Um, it's my interpretation of the rear one there. Okay. So it, it, it probably won't find that exact place because it's up my head. Why but, that look real? But um, yeah. For the bamboo, them man. Jaja. Ja. And this one right here. That one is of Kapo. Kapo. Kapo himself. Wow. And it's a called the Wobia man. <laughs> <laughs> you know he's actually buried in the um in the in the hero circle. He's buried in the hero circle. He's buried in the hero circle. Wow. Yeah. State burial. I don't know to what extent it was, but I mean, he was he was an iconic figure in Jamaican art, mm -hmm. and um, you know he made his mark, mm -hmm. a spiritual leader. Mm -hmm. So, explain this to me now, my brother. Why, 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 well, 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 just to be, just to be, just to be a commission piece. Somebody, somebody had an issue with Trump, uh -huh. and they had the, the, this. Piece which pretty much depicts the man as a, as a bullshit artist. 
Oh, it's a bullshit artist. Yeah, that's, yeah, which, you know, that's what he's doing. Oh, guys, you understand. But hey, don't blame the messenger. Hey, man, <laughs> don't blame the artist. That's not my thing. It's, hey, man, just doing a job. Yeah, it's a So, um, anybody have a little picnic around? I tell them if you're going to the back room at this moment. Got big people time now. So, Mark, that one I look real. Well, you know, Carlos, I, I, you know, I, I love, the, I love how women look. <laughs> why you think a lot? Why me? I tell you, say, imagination to come out of your head when I draw this one. If you, know, if you notice, I put a lot of attention to detail. And you said this is not done yet. No, it's not done. No. This is not finished, people. But look, what the jelly now? Jaja. I think women are, you know, women are so beautiful, you know, and they um, they represent life, you know. And men need to, we need to we need to honor women in any way that we can. Yes. So so when I paint a woman like that now, I mean I spend a lot of time on it because I like to paint women. Um at the same time, you know, we we, 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 we need to really um encourage our fellow artists to, to, to depict the right picture. And to send a right. Uh, this one here is the is the is the, um, the peace concert. I can take a picture. The peace. Right? Michael Valley look good. And everybody else. <laughs> yeah, you know what, Michael? I'm my man still. You know, so, <laughs> that so, look good. So this is before they put them hand up in the air. You know. This is before they put them up in the air. Yeah. I wanted to do something that um, you know um, put my own interpretation on it. I don't yeah. like to paint what other people have or what other images that I see. And, you know, I like, like to do something different. So, who are, who are the two guys behind? Um... That well, this is also not finished, but it's Bucky Marshall and um, Claude Masso. It's not finished, people. It's not because finished. they all have their own um, people supporting them. You know? Yeah. Wow. Nice painting, my brother. Yeah, man. Beautiful, man. Respect, man. Respect. Beautiful. So, what I'm doing now, which I think your viewers might be interested in. Mm. Is I'm doing, I'm doing what's called original prints. Now this painting is a print of my original. Mm -hmm. Now this is actually this painting is actually Frenchman's Cove. Mm. Now Frenchman Frenchman's Cove has another part like this over here. So what I did was I I, I um. I did a, a high quality gicle, which is a print on canvas, mm -hmm. and pretty much uh, painted over the painted over this that was over here, oh. and put in put in what I want to put in there. So this is an original that is a, um, actually a print on this. It's the water and this and the sky. People, I want, I want to share this video, now, guys. Share this, you know, another Jamaican talent. You see what I'm saying? Share this and the information, guys, if you want information about this paint. Um, in the thumbnail, the, the, the number is there for more information. I will definitely punch it inside of the, um, the chat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what I'm doing is um, most artists do what they call embellished prints, where they would do um, a print of an original painting and go back over it with some more paint. Mm -hmm. When I go a step further, if, if this painting has everything you see here and you want something different on it i could paint more people you know in the in the, in here and on a boat it becomes an original print it's, a, it's not been done before you heard that guys so so what i'm introducing now is like for for, for those who may not be able to afford the original piece yes they can get an affordable print um that I could make this any size that you want. You hear that, guys? No, I have 35 original pieces with high quality prints. So if you want, say for instance, um, show them Bob Marley. If they want that Bob Marley in any size, I could do that. My 12 inches, I can do that. They want example. Um, where's the one with Richard, Richard Pratt? Okay. Right here. Really? No, the one, no, the, um, the, the, um, oh, this. 
Okay, let me let me pull something. Okay, now for instance, right? So I did this painting picture, and I can I can actually paint it on here on canvas. This is a piece that I did from here. Oh, right so, from that. Right from just from. And from it was this. black and white. Yeah, yeah. So I made it into color. Real deal on it. On the face there, everything. Right, no, this is not a print. This is my, or this is my paint. Everything is on me, you know, I did this on here. So, let's give an example. Guys, what do you think? Man, bad, not true. So, Ray Charles and... Yo, no, no, like that. Well, I'm going to make sure so we get everything set up. Yes, Mr. Brother. What's that? Yeah, man, we got you. Okay. We have to stay panic and make sure so we don't lose you in the bush. Yeah. <laughs> so, Mark, what's next with this painting? What's the plan? Well, what's next? Mm -hmm. And um, we are going to be offering... I left my, my phone number there, but mm -hmm. and my um, my website. What? Come again. You can call me at 561-777-0557. That's 561-777-0557. You can call me on WhatsApp. Call me directly if you'd like. Um, this is just a small example of what I do. I mean, I have several other paintings around that you could, I, could, I could show you. But... You know, it's a, a small space where do my painting, so I yeah. can't put everything inside here. This is just the gallery, people. This is where the arts too. This is where the man. Look at the man at people. Let me show you something. Before we go further, Mr. Mark. People, look here. Well, come on, that's what I said. Look here. Look behind that. You can jump up on a tree there like a monkey, if you like. Brother, all over the place. All the further hot, don't have so cool. Look. Not even yeah, sun has come through. Down. Ja, ja. Mm -mm. Um, people place are nice, you know. I like it. I'm in my studio up in the trees. In a tree with their people. <laughs> in a tree house. Cool, man. Yeah. So. But we, you know, you know of course. So, you know, so you, 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 uh, you're willing to ship, ship paint? Anybody want any painting, you can ship to them? Yes, we will ship. Um, you know, we'll be passing the painting plus shipping. Uh, we could, if it's depend on the size, sometimes it's best to have them ship as a roll. You roll it up and you have it stretched where you are. Mm. Um, so you can so, understand, people? It's, it's come rolled up. So instead of it's in a, a stretch out like this, it could be done and rolled up so it's easier and cheaper. Roll up just like a uh, paper towel. You understand what I'm talking about? That type of roll up. I see right. art rolled up before and put in a tube, right? Right. Like for Sometimes we, we actually carry the piece to, to where, where, they, where they, the person ordered it. Mm. I can ship it to them. Depends. Like, for instance, I went to Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. um, I had We're not a bush. We're not a bush, guys. We're not a bush. So, guys, be patient with the connection, yeah? Yeah, so I also saw your arm. Um, Handing Mayor Motley a painting. Handing Mayor Motley a painting, Mark. Yes, I did uh, a presentation to the Barbina Prime Minister, um, Mayor Motley, a few months ago. Minister, um, Mayor Motley, a few months ago. We we'll see you make a presentation to also uh, Freddie McGregor. Who are some of the, the, the most the famous people you 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 paint for? I presented to Freddie McGregor, who I met on Sunsplash many years ago. Uh -huh. We share the same birthday. Okay. So uh, I did a presentation here in Florida. Very happy about it. He never expected it. Mm -hmm. I did the same thing to um, for Lisa Hanna. Lisa Hanna. And um, to our Prime Minister, Prime Minister's wife. Ah, that's cool. I was asked by someone. Yeah. I'm gonna really, you know, I like to share my art. 
It doesn't matter. I work, I work, you know. The political differences, uh, you know, exist. Mm -hmm. Yes. I paint and I do poetry and I do my cooking thing to share. Tell me a little about your cooking, Mark. A lot of people don't know that you Well, I've done... I've been building restaurants for the last 30 years. I've had restaurants, I've owned restaurants. Like I said, I try to give the best quality product to my customers. If I'm doing cooking, or if I'm doing um, you know, um, cooking demonstrations, I try, we, we are ambassadors for our country. So we have to give um, the people the very best product. Yeah. For instance, if I do a jerk chicken, right? And it's not the very best. Somebody who has never tried jerk chicken might try the chicken and never try it again because we gave them the wrong impression of what jerk chicken is supposed to be. Not true. So we as Jamaicans have to put the best foot forward and put the, the best product into the hands of people who have never tried our food or our art before. before. So, I mean, we're ambassadors. I'm a culinary ambassador um, for, 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 for food. And, you know, art takes me in different directions. You know, I build houses. Um, I did not own a cut stone apartment complex in Jamaica, in Mandeville, where I made a cut stone cut stone townhouse complex out of, out of stone. It's beautiful people. The entire stone, the entire facade of it was stone, which is part of its structural integrity as well. So, in the houses, I do art, I do food, which is why I encourage that when you have kids who are artistically inclined, arts can mean if your kids are involved in the arts, that turn the economy, that, that create an, the, the economy. Anybody that design a car is a visionary. The person that design an airplane is a visionary. Everything then, if there's no one creating anything, you're not going to have the, the economy is not going to grow. Economies are based on on your on our, recently because of my uh, political um, activism the man made me start right poetry <laughs> because <laughs> of politics is that right poetry Brethren, i'm writing poetry because i need some way to vent mm. and i can't always vent on a video on canvas uh, a canvas yeah yeah so. Which is, which is one of my pieces that I did as a, um, as a, you know, I was so upset with how the church um, enslaved our people, mm. and in some instances um, do so, and I did a piece that I'm going to show your, your, your audience here. I'm going to find that piece and show it here. <laughs> Okay. So this piece depicts what happened with most of the um, African people. They brought the priest with the cross, and behind the priest were the conquistadors, the people who with them guns and them ammunition. So they use the church to keep the people and uh, to oppress the people. Mm -hmm. So this this depicts the oppression of the of, of, of the people. Mm. Yeah. So these are the people who are you know who have been oppressed by using those using God. You know? Now whether you believe it or not these people here that I'm depicting in this picture is one half of the, uh, another side of the coin because they're actually persons who are God-fearing that do the work of 
their belief. A Christian is living a Christ life, a Christ like experience. Mm -hmm. To be a Christian, you have to be Christ like. That's but there are others who use Christianity to oppress people. Yeah. So this depicts that. So there are different parts of my work. I paint because I'm usually emotionally connected to my subject that I'm doing. Jamaica back in 79. But it has taken different different turns, you know, where I I'm into poetry now because of I moved based on the political conditions in Jamaica. So it takes different different um, different turns, so to speak, you know. So tell me about your political life, Mark, and why you get now politics and all them stuff, even though I have a video, you know, Mark sent me up his mom. My mom is not here with us anymore. Um, but he's, he gave me a, a video of his mother and warning Mark about Jamaica. Because, you know, old people have a lot of knowledge, you know. <laughs> so his mother was telling him, and, you know, Jamaican parents, they're afraid to talk to you. <laughs> And his mom, mother was telling him, don't get into politics. I may have the video somewhere. One day I will show you guys it. So talk to me about the politics side of your mark. Well, you know, would you drive a car down spur tree? Would you make a man drive a car down spur tree and, and with no brakes? No. Would you make a man who can't drive take it down spur tree? No. Okay. When I went back to Jamaica, I saw the dysfunction. I saw the country going down the hill. I saw more crime, a lack of integrity in our, in our people, the dependency on government, not realizing that government comes from the people. And it's just natural. I mean, if you see something wrong, then you have to try and do something different about it. So what we've created is an umbrella so Jamaicans can represent themselves. I'm not running for none because I don't really like politics. But what we're trying to do is to move Jamaicans out of the stranglehold of the GLP, the GLP PNP agenda, which is not in the best interest of the Jamaican people. So I've approached people to get signatures to start this new movement called Up Jamaica. And people have said, hey, oh, it's another crooked politician. And I tell them that I am not running for anything. All I'm doing and all we are doing is creating an umbrella so any Jamaican in any constituency can represent themselves. Most Jamaicans today are not representing themselves. They are being represented by people who have their own interest that is not in the best interest of Jamaica. So as a Jamaican, if you love your country, it is a natural thing for you to try to do whatever you can to save your country. I don't have to be in political representation to help my country. But what I can do with my knowledge is to, is to let people know that there is, they do have an option. Mm -hmm. Jamaicans have an option to lead themselves and not be led by those who have another agenda. And that is the reason why we're not doing well as a country because we have bad governance. A lot of people like to say, boy, boy, I'm not on the politics, I'm not on the politics. Politics is how your government is structured. So, politics is how your government is structured. So if you have the wrong structure in place, they can lock you down, they can do whatever they want, they can raise them on, let them on um, pay, and you can't do nothing about it. So I'm not saying that uh, up Jamaica is a kind of a movement a coming to come teeth and pack them pocket with money. What what the difference between up Jamaica movement and the PNP and the GLP? The first thing we worked on was the structure. If you want coming to up Jamaica to come teeth, you know how to work out for you because you know get not not a joke up Jamaica. It now to work out for you. We identified the problems. The problems that we had in our, in, in Jamaica government is, is um lack of transparency and no checks and balance. I know people like We have all the records. Why is that? Because we allowed all Jamaicans to, 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 to get involved and only the very best represent our country 
in the political realm. Um, you as a political party might bring a man on board who is your brethren, but he's not the very best for the country. Mm. So what do you expect to happen? You're going to get less than, 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 than the best. You will have more inept governance that continues and continues and has continued since independence because the independence people the colonial system set up our, our, our former government and it's not to empower the Jamaican people. The crown is, in, is, is a big problem in Jamaica. The crown is a big problem. Did you know that the Prime Minister, that the Governor General get $465 um, million a year? You didn't know that, right? Well, you know mm -hmm. it because we talk about it. Mm -hmm. But most Jamaicans didn't know about that. So, what they're trying to do now is that they're trying to push a republic that maintains the same kind of structure in place and call it a republic. Removing the governor general and replacing the governor general with a, um, with a, with a, a ceremonial president is, is foolishness. Mm -mm. What is the function of a ceremonial president? Absolutely nothing. Him sit down like God in the same way, you know, the king's all the same way, give man proclamation and, and OD, and that's it. No. That's, that's a hand of, a hand no, of, mm. no. That's we a hand need, of a piece of paper and shake hand. We need an executive president <clears throat> who is going to represent Jamaica. A president who is elected directly by the Jamaican people. And I'm saying to you this, guys, because it's very important. We cannot allow the government to give you this fake republic. We also need senators that are going to be independently elected. Mm -hmm. We need a DPP, a public prosecutor that is elected by the people or, or by the elected Senate. We cannot have the public prosecutor who was appointed by the, the prime minister the prosecutor is not going to prosecute the government because he, they're the ones that appointed the prosecutor. Mm -hmm. We have to have that separation. So, Up Jamaica looked on the process. Up Jamaica looked on the procedures that are going to allow good governance. We are not party people. I've told you before, I said, if tomorrow morning, and I might piss off some of my supporters. If tomorrow morning the GLP or the PMP adopts Up Jamaica's manifesto or our um our what do you call it? Our 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 um our structure and government. Begun. You think they will do that? No. It's good for the health. Yes, yes. Because we know how much people have killed down there already. This is not good for my health because people make a living off of corruption in Jamaica. That's why everybody's That's afraid to talk. That's true. But me, my tree house, so we can talk. <laughs> I mean, I'm a soldier, I'm down there. What do them think? But what I'm saying to you. Like Kevin Knight said, we need better separation of powers. Absolutely, Kevin. We need that. If we as Jamaicans don't stand up, Hold on, don't suppose I talk about Arthur stuff. No, no, no. no. <laughs> come on, come on. You care about Jamaica when you're trying to make Jamaica a better country. That is how you become a Jamaican. Not when you wear your flag and wearing your Jamaican colors or when, when a uh, Jamaica there or whatever. That's foolishness. That's not being a Jamaican. So I want you to listen. But they want places like my phone, I used to it, yeah, you know. But for knows. My phone, I go on, I go on. I want people to know their responsibility as Jamaicans. Your responsibility is to ensure that you have good governance. Okay? And so, don't accept what they give you. If you don't like it, change it. But you can't stay up on the side and talk, talk, talk every day and don't change it. What's the point of that? That don't make any sense. If you want to change, you have to get involved. And as a matter of fact, we have the number that we're working on now for Up Jamaica. We are actively looking for candidates in every parish. 
every parish we're looking for candidates. But I want to tell you something for some of you that is so you know. If you're getting as MP, you're going to cut down. Because we don't need 63 MPs. Mm. But we need 63 MPs to get in to government to make the changes. Jamaica has 14 parishes. So Doing not, nothing. No, that's not fiscal responsibility. We have 242 parish councillors. I have yet to hear what the parish councillor does. Mm. Nobody can tell me. Because if in the parish council itself, you have the workers who fix the road, who fix, make sure light, we have light and trash pick up and all that kind of thing there. What is it? What are the councillors doing? They're not doing nothing. Why should we pay $1.5 billion a year for parish councillors and 63 MPs? I'd rather get all my road them fixed with the more extra money that we spend on these six three MPs. And no problem. Yes, sir, we're back online. Okay. What I'm saying to the people that are that I'm asking, we are we're looking for candidates that are respected in the communities within which they live. We're looking for candidates that live in their own community. We're looking for candidates that have the respect of the community. Mm -hmm. We're looking for candidates that will sign a document says if they are non-performing their own constituency can mm. recall them mm. so if you're not performing you have to, you have to go but we need 63 mps in the uh, one part i mean for the judges so at election time when we get in we're going to change the structure if we have 63 mps just want you to know that all we need is 20, 14 to 22 MPs. So from the batch of 63, mm -hmm. it will have to come down and the, 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 the citizens will have to decide who will be their MP. It sounds kind of confusing, but it's not really confusing. What I'm saying to you now is that we don't need as many people on the public payroll. So, so, so everybody's on the food and if we had less things, we have less potholes. Because we have money fixed for potholes and feel a man for buying fraud and another bend. We don't need that. I'm about solutions. So you need that one the most to the most. I mean, why even Kingston might be two. Depends on how big and how many people. But you don't need, come on guys, I mean, think about it. What does an MP do? You go in every Wednesday. Somebody's asking, who is this person on the platform? Is this a new farm party? <clears throat> well, I'm a spokesperson for the new farm. It's a, it's a movement called Up Jamaica. We have registered with the Jamaican um, government. But we have not collected enough signatures yet to get to the point where we are a registered political party. But I don't want it to be to be taken back by that because if if tomorrow morning the, the, hey, the more the, the, hey, the more the more dancer at the pole the better not true <laughs> need more pole dancers so um people this video is not about politics you know me really come on come on, poet and build him in pint and all type of stuff you know what i'm saying a non-profit right now it's registered now as a non-profit. Yeah, we do have the document. We're waiting on our number. I mean, I'm at school for what most Jamaicans don't know because we have not to be a political party. It's a, it's a, it's a twofold thing. One part of Up Jamaica is about um, it's an activism role. The other side is a political role. And we are an, an umbrella for any Jamaican who wants to serve our country to get involved. So we're asking you, and I want you to look out soon. Um, we're going to have our numbers coming up so you can call the organization um, to make your voices heard. We're looking, for, we're looking for people willing to serve. And, um, you know, we have to take our country back. So, guys, 
we know that um, we need to cultivate. Uh, we need to cultivate back on a better track. And um, there goes one brother right here. So yeah, he's willing to put his his feet in the fire. If you go on Mark Renaissance Cameron page, you see a lady talking, an elderly lady talking. That's Mark's mother. I, I see a post that picture um, the video of your mama. Oh, okay. Telling you, warning you about politics. Yeah, my mother, um, my mother just died. She was 95 years old, and she warned me. She said, "Mark, you cannot stop corruption." That's what my mother told me. And she said, "Do not get into politics." She does not want that for her son. I want you to post it on your page. Yeah, we're gonna post it. We're gonna post it. She said she does not want me into politics because it's a dirty business. So, guys, okay, here we are going. And, um, it's a breakup that bad. Sorry, man. Sorry. Guess what, guys? So, um, you guys can't hear. T tell me in the comment section. Talk to me. Can you guys hear? Break up sometime. Break up all the time. Mark is gonna mark phone and run over this. So Mark is gonna um, post his. So may I get a copy of his and post on my page so you guys can see the clear. Um, Well, all I'm saying to you. So, hold on. Let's uh, get it started out. How do we in the diaspora help with signatures and, and this? One of the things we're trying to do is to encourage uh, people in the diaspora who have property in Jamaica to vote. Mm -hmm. uh, we, if, you are, if you are a Jamaican citizen and you have your, your voter's ID, you can give us a signature. Mm -hmm. But the government has made it very difficult because a lot of people who have gone to, which is which is encouraging, because the people who have had to get signatures from, mm. they're either GLP or PMP. Mm. And so far we have 400 signatures, we need another 100 and something signatures. So it's encouraging that both GLP and PMP want change. Change, that's true. But what should, the, the proper thing to do is to have any Jamaican who is a citizen to give me a signature, which is not the way it is, because them set it up so it makes it more difficult for us mm. to get signatures. So you have to be a registered. You have to be a registered voter to sign the document. Document. But we, we're doing well because guess what? GLP signing and PMP signing. And I'm saying to your listeners today that we are in the midst of a revolution, a peaceful revolution. Most people have violence and all that kind of stuff. All we have to do is vote. And I'm begging you guys, I'm, I'm seriously, I'm begging all of you who are listening today, if we are the founding fathers and mothers of the new Jamaica, the other Jamaica that we got were colonially inspired, was a colonial inspired Jamaica. They set all the rules, that's why they can raise their own pay and do what they want. And you can lock us down without, you, without a process in place not to understand that we are sovereign people. You can't lock down big man. You can't say, yo, if lock, you lock people down. Mm. We're sovereign. We have the right to expose ourselves to danger or not. Not the government. Okay. So we need to take back our country, guys. We need, to, we need to take back our lives from this colonial system that is still in place. What is your manifesto or... Manuscript. We would love to see if you can please share. The new urge is being created. So somebody said what the manuscript or uh, the manifesto. Okay, okay, okay. Let me tell you. Okay, we have a manifesto that, but I can tell you because it's not it's not brain surgery. And this is a little more in, de in detail. We believe that every parish, the senator, should be integrally involved with the, um, with the parish manager and develop Jamaica on a parish by parish basis. We know what each parish, the attributes of each parish. We know that on the south coast we have a lot of um, solar um, energy. We need to utilize that because our manufacturing sector has been hijacked by the, the, the high cost of electricity. Mm -hmm. We, the fundamentals of our, um, of our development as a country has to deal with um, our agricultural sector. Jamaica was identified 
by our colonial powers to be a place for farming. Mm. The reason we have not done well is but because we have not transitioned sugarcane production into anything else by that's viable. So we as a government plan to really focus on farming, organic farming, um, less use of pesticides, manufacturing our own feed mm -hmm. for farm animals. We are we're importing all of our um all of our, our, our farm um, um uh, feed from abroad. Mm -hmm. We can manufacture our own products in Jamaica. Look at all the, the, the Bushman thing down there, sir. All we have to do is infuse some, some minerals into them and make them into pellets and have our own, our own production of farm feed. We also believe that we should protect our environment. Tourism is a, is a, is a part of our prosperity or can be a part of our prosperity. If we are dumping bauxite waste into rear cobra, don't complain about our citizens getting cancer. Mm. It doesn't make any sense. The government today has allowed, never has allowed the bauxite companies to put um, plastic into rear cobra. Yes, but I see people are, are, are protesting the other day, they said burning them skin. No, 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 no. Are they with us? No. Is that government no, with us? No. Burning people's skin. So why should we stand back? Why should they stand back in the diaspora, in Jamaica, and allow this to happen? We cannot well, allow this to continue. Jaja. Jaja. Yeah, so um somebody asks if are you staying with the crown or you, 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 you um crown or you you, you want to separate we have to leave the crown we have to leave the crown jamaica is supposed to be an independent country we don't need the crown that's why i'm saying they, they, they fire the governor general we need our jamaican sisters to be and brothers to be kings and queens of themselves we don't need nobody opp oppressing our people. We can manage on our own. And I'm saying to you, and I'm saying to all of those other countries oppressing our people, leave us alone. We can take care of ourselves. Look at all the Jamaicans that are around the world that are doing such great things on their own. They never get no help. All they got was an opportunity. We don't need any help from nobody. Give us the opportunity and we will we will shine. Look at what Bob Marley did. Did anybody give Bob Marley opportunity? He man man them go down a trench town and make the music and do the moon thing and man come on and that the rest is history. Bob Marley made made Chris Black Blackwell a, a multi-millionaire, a billionaire. Mm -hmm. Because of cooperation between the two. But I'm saying to you, if you leave Jamaicans alone and give us the opportunity, we will do well. Make it a call. Important to call from Jamaica. So okay. continue to talk, my brother. Continue to talk to the people. Then. We don't need handouts. We do not need handouts. So, you know, we can, we can catch up with we this. Can't catch up, we can catch up with this. Yeah. People, we're going to end the video because you know something now go on good. But next time I come here, I'm going to tune into Mark. Wi Fi up a yard there. So well, that hey. means. Uh, I want them to know, mm -hmm. do not accept that fake republic that they're trying to push on the Jamaican people. This is our chance to really chart a new course for our country. And I'm asking you to get involved and to make your, make your voices heard. When we launch officially as Up Jamaica, I'll have all the relevant information, website, all of that stuff. I'm just giving you a preview of what is about to happen. Yeah, yeah, your people. All in right. The meantime, in the meantime, the paintings. You have my number. You can call link with Carlos. We can do paintings any size you want. Yes. And um, prints of my originals are my original pieces. And um, you know, we we'll take it from there. Yes, people. Yes, it. Richard Pryor.
Michael Mann and the ship right there, so I think you have one piece with where they mark. Wait. And finish one with, with Jamaican Carlos. Oh, that one there. Oh, yeah, wait there. Wait, right there, sir. Right there, sir. Jamaican Carlos, you know, you don't need to be. This is Jamaican Carlos. I just started it. He yeah. just started. Just started. You know, so, they know why you make me look old, you know. I'm not a wrinkle from my face. <laughs> so, what, what, you, you want this in color or black and white? Color, right? I think I color. What do you think? You okay with color. color? Yeah. So, I just started this out Jamaican Carlos. And <laughs> <laughs> so, I should get this done by the art show. By the time uh, the, the art show is seven, I'll have it done. Nice people. So give them the number one more time, people. You know, say art to come to talk about. You know, you know, you hear the, the politics. If anybody wants painting, you can call me at 561 561. I will give you the website that, that Carlos can put on his life. Yes, I'll put up the website. Um, it has my paintings on there. You can select what paintings you want. And for the political movement, we're going to have the telephone number in due time. This is a little. There are Jamaicans on the. I have a we have, mm -hmm. remember do them thing, mm -hmm. um, the structure of the U.S. is what is similar to ours, mm -hmm. but we have management issues. Mm -hmm. I do not encourage anybody, I would not encourage anyone to not vote for the U.I.C. because of Joseph Patterson. Mm. Any, whether it be the NDM or the, um, the Marcus Garvey political party or up Jamaica, any of those candidates in any constituency that is running, support them. But we're going to have a convention to make sure that we don't compete. Mm. We might even fall on the whole of Jamaica. All of them might all fall on of Jamaica. I don't know. But we're going to have that conversation. So people are on the ground and we're working to make sure that this happens and we have a new Jamaica. So hold tight. We're going to do this. We're Jamaicans and we deserve better and we will make things better. So, um, right. so, yes, yeah, so, uh, guys, um, I will put the number in the comment section again. It's also on the thumbnail of this video. Time. The number is 561 777 Now, I'm going to put another number in there, including my website that you can contact me. Um, I can at some point give you the number for the for the Up Jamaica movement, which I'm just a spokesperson, although I'm the founding member. Um, so we're, we we have a lot of, lot, a lot going on. One uh, question, Mark. One, 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 one question on sleep. So if this is a self governed movement, yes, that means we people have to be involved in the laws and decisions of government. Um, this is not a one man thing. We have we've called. First of all, we didn't start yesterday. This has been over 10 years. Most of the people who are in Jamaica left the U.S. I was the first vice president. Do I see? Yes. So if you see the map, because things change. For instance, let's put it this way. I'm not going to get into more details on that. But things have changed. So we have made some tweaking to mm -hmm. ensure that we have a, a solid manifesto that all Jamaicans can be involved in. At the end of the day, the manifesto is our, um, is our campaign message. We are not going to be spending a whole bunch of money on campaigns because the camp, our, our, our campaign is our message. We're not going to take money from you or, or take a whole bunch of um, or, or put a whole bunch of money or money into a movement that we have to work at. We want you to get involved. Any money that we potentially get has to be spent in your own constituency to, to support your own candidate. We don't want we we we're we not a bank. Mm. We're not a bank. We're not trying to operate like a bank. We're just a, an umbrella for the organization to self-fund so when you have candidates and people may contribute to the up jamaica movement they're funding their own candidates in their own constituency 
under the umbrella of the UI, the, 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 the Up Jamaica guidelines for good governance. And I told you before what are the, the key components are. One is a directly elected president, directly elected senators, directly elected public prosecutor, a directly elected commissioner of police. The commissioner should represent the people, not the political party, guys. We have to take back our country. Well, every movement starts from somewhere. You know? So but everything, we, but we have what, to try. But we need input. We don't believe we know it all. We need input. We right. don't know it all. Yes. You don't know it all. Mm -hmm. So we're not up here sitting a high and mighty like say, boy, we know everything. We don't. Mm -hmm. We know a lot because we're experienced people. Mm -hmm. I've created a few businesses and done different things and I've been, um, then kissed Jamaica goodbye. Mm. That's true. We have to try something. We can't just sit and say PNP labor right. Two of them are thief and don't do nothing. No, and mean, like you were saying, do not make Joseph Patterson um stop you uh your dislike for Joseph Patterson stop you from supporting the UIC. No. Did you say that right? I said that because the UIC candidates have good intentions mm -hmm. and they're supporting a government structure that we can align ourselves with. Mm -hmm. I'm saying the same about the NDM as well. If my connection goes, yes, what I was saying, if what about the collaborative effort between all the parties? Do you think 